Greetings from Lambeth Palace. I am so sorry I can't be with you in person today, but I'm absolutely delighted to join with my dear brother, His Holiness Pope Francis, in sending you congratulations on such a special and almost miraculous occasion, the birth of a new community. Several years ago, in conversation with the very Reverend uh, Pat Malloy, the acting dean, I described to him the inspiration and impact of having a community of prayer here at Lambeth. He, in turn, revealed to me his long-held desire to start a religious community at St John the Divine. It is a huge delight to me that since we had that conversation, Father Pat has worked with the Shamanov to give substance to that vision. In fact, one of those with Shamanov was previously with the community of St Anselm. What an enormous privilege it is to me to send my greetings to you today. I feel so blessed as you mark the foundation of this new community, the community at the crossing. It's a wonderful name. On becoming Archbishop of Canterbury, I felt that God was leading me to put as my highest priority prayer and the renewal of the religious life. The community of St Anselm started with a desire to bring people together from around the world, from different backgrounds and denominations, to live together in community, praying, studying, serving together while learning from one another, visibly the unity of God's people. The blessing of God is found in unity, John 17, 21. The best of what we do as a church happens when we come together as a community of love. The community of St Anselm was made possible only through the help of, of Shemandev, who remained partners in this work. I am so grateful to Father François Michon, Father Étienne Veto, and the whole of the Shemandev for the gift they are to Christ Church throughout the world. I can say without hesitation that they will be a huge blessing to you in so many ways, as you receive them and work with them in New York. In the book of the Acts of the Apostles, at the birth of the church, the followers of Christ committed themselves to prayer, to the breaking of bread, and to the apostles' teaching. Throughout the centuries, groups of men and women have committed themselves to live in religious communities to pursue these same principles in a huge diversity of ways. The religious life matters profoundly to the church. It has always been the place where renewal begins. Without communities of prayer of one kind or another, one doesn't see renewal. The community at the crossing is a sign of God's work of renewal in the world, in your city, in the church. Having the community of St Anselm here at Lambeth Palace has completely transformed the atmosphere and environment. One bishop who used to come a lot commented, it used to feel like a, an office with a chapel at one end. Now it feels like a house of prayer. My prayer for you as you embark on this journey is that the transforming presence of God will be known within and through the community at the crossing. I pray that you would know grace in Christ, love in God, unity in the Holy Spirit, so that this work may bear much fruit for many years to come. May God bless the Cathedral Church of St John the Divine, the community of Shemaneuf, and the community at the crossing. May he incite you to take risks, to go further and deeper with him, to desire God in Christ above all things. And in so doing, through your unity, may the world see that Jesus came from the Father and may you know and find the blessing of God. Amen.
Gracias por acogerme en esta hermosa catedral episcopaliana de San John de Divine. Es una gran alegría y consuelo para mí estar con ustedes en este momento especial en que episcopalianos y católicos, cristianos de diferentes denominaciones, personas de buena voluntad, se reúnen para el lanzamiento de esta comunidad de formación llamada The Community at the Crossing. Queridos jóvenes que pasarán aquí un año de vida comunitaria, de formación y discernimiento cristianos, de oración, de servicio a los jóvenes y a los pobres, serán ustedes testigos del amor y la ternura de Dios. Verán cómo se aman unos a otros. Dirían los que vieron la primera comunidad cristiana, vean cómo viven juntos con alegría y ponen en común sus pertenencias, vean cómo rezan juntos, vean cómo están cerca de los pobres. Espero y rezo para que esto sea lo que suceda aquí en San Juan de Divan. Elegir el camino humilde de la vida común vale más que mil palabras. Y el nombre Ate Crossing evoca el cruce dentro de esta catedral, el punto de intercesión entre la nave y el coro que permite cruzar de uno a otro atrás. Tiene un significado hondo. En el cruce significa un lugar de cruce y encuentro entre jóvenes de todas las denominaciones cristianas. Mi esperanza es que esta comunidad ofrezca una oportunidad para revivir el deseo de unidad de los cristianos y de la sociedad de Nueva York e incluso en los Estados Unidos. El futuro de la fe en nuestro mundo pasa por la unidad de los cristianos. Sí, no estamos de acuerdo en todo. Sí, tenemos convicciones que a veces son, parecen incompatibles o son incompatibles. Pero esa es precisamente la razón por la que elegimos amarnos unos a otros. El amor es más fuerte que todos los desacuerdos. Da paz y la paz no parece posible. Por eso deseo que sigan trabajando juntos en esto para lograr la unidad. Y no olvidemos que Ate Crossing evoca la cruz de Cristo. Jesucristo es un vínculo más fuerte y más profundo de nuestras culturas, nuestras opciones políticas e incluso nuestra doctrina. El Señor, el Señor Jesús. Mirar a Él, que dio su vida por nosotros. Mi más profundo agradecimiento, queridos jóvenes, por la valentía que ustedes tienen y su compromiso. Gracias al equipo de la Cátedra Episcopaliana de San John de Divine y a la comunidad Chemin Neuf por haber emprendido el proyecto. Mi agradecimiento al Cardenal Dolan y al Obispo Ditsche por acoger y apoyar esta iniciativa. Mi corazón se regocija cuando pienso que la Arquidiócesis es católica y la diócesis episcopaliana de Nueva York están trabajando de la mano. Gracias por el apoyo y el aliento del dicasterio para la promoción de la unidad de los cristianos. Y un agradecimiento especial a mi hermano y amigo Justin Belby por haber alentado este proyecto desde que comenzó. Gracias por sus palabras, gracias a ustedes. Hey, go on, go on.